Oh, here we go. Get a live from the event admin. Russians now moving in. And British are now moving out. Copy, Rain. I'd say we go in and head to that grid. Everyone else starts spreading up. Let's go take a look and see where the Russians are going to deploy to. Looks like they have a FOB mark, or this Delta 6 could be where um, the Russians are intending to deploy. Yeah, we have plenty of build points. Just do whatever you want with them. We don't get any um, places. Which Not yet anyways, is a so. pretty... Uh, it's a... It's an interesting spot to deploy your your troops at. The terrain, a little bit of hill. It's just on the road, so it'll be pretty quickly to get to. You've got the railway line. This is a natural line of drift, meaning that there's you know potentially infantry going to use this as cover as as a as a route to move through. And of course. Here's the uh, Russian platoon. BTR in front. Phoenix driving himself a lodgy by himself, cutting across the field. And here comes some more. Oh, it looks like one squad has stopped forward. And another squad has stopped back. Okay, so looks like a squad plus another couple lodgies are moving out. The BTR is still moving south here. There's a British squad already moved across the river. They've moved. They're moved south of Neva and they're moving northwest. Should be good now. Russians deploying a squad. Looks like this may be like a forward observation area. They just want to get an eyes on what's in front of them. Here comes another couple squads. Three, can you send a few guys along? And also the BTR. In the field here. It's got a fire team along with it. Pulls right up. There we go. And the Russians look like they're set to move out here. They got the they got deployed pretty quick. So just to just to verify, the Russian mission, they're going to be establishing a forward CP here. Um, they're going to move out to Fox Sorry, Seven and establish a, establish a command post. In the bunker north of Neva Uffer. So Fox 7 is still about... Um, probably about uh, 800 meters away from their location. But this is the bunker they're talking about right here. And Fox 7 is part of this British patrol. So... As the British mission is specifically... Patrolling four grids, Echo 6, Fox 6, Echo 7, Fox 7. Let's make sure everyone doesn't have a shovel in there. Make sure everybody knows all guys scanning already. And uh, they're going to set up a control point or their own base, their own command post somewhere in one of these areas. So they're going to be holding their main force behind while the British figure out where to place this radio. Once they place the radio, everyone comes through. Copy line. Right, we have plenty of build points, guys, so don't be afraid to use these uh, build points. While and we the can. recon squad are stuck in this area. Not so much stuck in this area, but they are 
holding position. All right, A, your responsibility. Was... We're going to keep moving further north. We need to get to the north side. Yeah, north side ruins. We're going to get into that nice the one with the bunkers and everything. I'm set. All right, go ahead and bound across right now, Groot and James. So British forces to... spreading themselves out. Do I have any defenses right. facing the south? South looks pretty open right now, guys. We're, let's cross. Getting ready to receive no, contact. Trying to set up a little defense right, here. Bra Bravo, here's how we're going to do it. Keep your heads low. We're going to. I need of course, one person this is where the Russians sure are intending to shots. put their bunker or put their command post. With the British deciding to establish their position here, I'm worried about this western area. that's pretty much it. Bindi, I would like you guys to down more south. Your SLR no command on here. In the rocks and H10, Let's take a look at the Russian progress right now. Uh, okay. There isn't any. Everyone has simply spread out. Okay, it looks like we're maybe starting to see some progress now. There are three squads approximately moving out four squads moving out it looks like there seems to be security with this BTR here so there's a infantry squad on foot for security two squads looks like one squad in reserve and another squad moving up to the north side they're gonna move through the forest maybe two squads in the center Part of the force here a little bit more spread out this is probably going to be the main occupying force or the main assaulting force ahead of the uh or behind the btr let's take a look at the british forces british forces still holding position across the river the british recon squad go ahead and hold that entrance don't peek it Shots, go ahead and right. get, get to the get to the western bunker. Actually, I'll get there. Just hold your hold your, hold where you're at. I'm gonna check. You heard of that? BTR. Yep. They got audio in the BTR from here. Pretty sneaky. Things ahead. Just go ahead. No, no, no. Stay inside. Stay inside. Group. Stay inside. You might be able to engage it from the bunker. Just make sure it doesn't clip. You could also get on the boxes where James is at here. Everyone's got binocs out, trying to look for things. Some people, maybe not with the binocs out, but looking to hold entrances. And then you have Groot, ready to shoot the BTR when it inevitably comes towards this position. Russian forces moving at about, you know, 20 meters a minute. Tops. They're not moving very fast. So you can go ahead and send your buddy team. Sebi. Looks like they're set. Uh, infantry leading the way here for the for the Russian mechanized platoon. Never mind. And the BTR looks like it's gonna head up right off the side here. BTR getting closer to the British position. You can see off in the distance some of these blue triangles. We're getting now within without 300 meters of contact. Even less in the north, there's a infantry squad. The infantry squad that was screening the Russian advance to the north hey, in the you forest. Your guys down here where I am, uh, there's a little... Is uh, kind of thin after getting pretty the close. They're going to round this uh, corner here with You're this, this rock formation. Right. Not right now. Seeing a uh, storm here, Binox out, but, you know, he's pretty far ahead. Matter of fact, he's got his guys just chilling. Oh, the Russians in the south even making a bigger advance than these guys in the north. Now they're within 100 meters of contact. Let's 
go over here and see. Silent looking out. We'll probably start seeing these guys very soon. If he doesn't see Doobies, well, actually Doobies in the field. Silent, I want you covering west. I got her south. Silent covering west is going to be... He, if he doesn't see James Simpson right there. The BTR moving straight to them. BTR not being subtle about its movement. If there's any communication going on, we can't we don't hear it. It must be happening in the squad. And Boogie and Headbuster getting shot staying out here. here. Staying here, staying here. That's the BTR opening up on the position. And now Russian infantry are getting in the fight as well. James Simpson, pretty close here. He's putting some shots on the doorway. Shooting the window up. Russian forces putting all, putting all sorts of holes in that wall. And this Russian force in the south getting ready to come across the field. And platoon giving permission for... They, they, or the company command giving platoon permission to reinforce this recon squad. Russians, they're going to push across this field? Storm is running, and no one is looking out here for the UK platoon. That's bad news. Although, it is bad news that it's not bad news. You British forces already taking casualties. Russians getting uh, getting over are overwhelming the British forces here, but slowly creeping up on all sides. They're at least getting their forces online for a major push. Storm has his fire team come across this northern field. Maybe you saw a grenade. I think I hear grenade fuses. Yeah, I don't get shot, gets hit. And there's another casualty there. That's great. And there's a third casualty there. That's James. I don't get shot, stabilizes. But multiple frags going out here. Silence dead. The Russians have taken one of our, threw a whole entire squad into the southern field here. Razor goes down. And here's the British radio. The British intelligence uh, listening device, rather. The Russians are throwing a squad into... Oh, and Hellcall just gets hit right there. He's able to put some hurt on... Elite, but... Elite uh, still stabilized. Hellcall goes down. British forces now. The only one that's left is uh, Boogie. And Boogie's stuck in this uh, bunker here. And a grenade. Boogie's the only one left. Let's take a look where the British forces are. One squad at a time is now crossing the river. Ooh, that grenade might actually. That gets a couple. And here we go. They're going to come through the door, I think. Ooh, that's it for Boogie. GG. Boogie unlucky. Even at the BTR outside his door, too. Buddy team rolls up in there and uh, secures that bunker. Russian forces securing the area. 
British radio here. Now the British forces need to recover the listening device. That is the sole purpose of the British platoon now is to secure their listening to post and then try to exfil Russian forces with a significant defensive boost here as they're now in fixed positions behind solid cover and they have a vehicle. The British forces are squad by squad just moving across now. Three squads across the river now. One squad now within about 300 meters of contact will probably start showing up to some of these the British forces who are up on the hill. Looking next to Dorf right now. Dorf usually has a pretty keen eye for spotting advances like this. And yep, guaranteed, guarantee you he just saw Sugard prone there. Matter of fact, I guarantee you he's called done it because the first thing he did is he got down and he started hiding. Now the vehicle advanced here. I'm not too sure that that's a that's a good idea. Given the, although they don't know how many hats the British have, they know they have at least three. And Hats will one-shot this vehicle. So maybe not, uh... Maybe not with the forward deployed BTR. Maybe give the BTR more of a response role. They're gonna try to hide up under this tree, though. And the gunner's trying to get some, uh... Spotty, some more, some more specific corrections. Oh, okay. We got someone engaging from here. Money man engaging at range, and a British platoon opens up in return. But where are they shooting at? And now the BTR opens up. Maybe the British were shooting at this Russian squad here. But that doesn't make sense. They're indefinitely to the... Where are the British shooting at? What is going on? Throw grenades. Throw grenades. Throw grenades? Oh, the squad in the south walked into a Russian platoon. Walked, walked into a Russian squad. I think we saw a dead frag. Um, there. Ooh, the British response not the greatest. What they really need to do to get what they really need to do is uh. What should they do? They really need to try to snag that, uh, that BTR kill from here. It's stationary. It's just a target. Why wouldn't you try to shoot the BTR from here? It's a clear 300 meter shot. 400, yeah, it's a clear three, 400 meter shot from here. Ooh. There goes Imanaz getting skylined as he advances in, getting destroyed by the BTR. BTR's coax simply covering this position. And it's all the muffin man can do to just spam that direction. Reloading. Do we fall back from the hill if you feel like you need to? Clay trying to get his guys to move. Russians now within about, you know, right, 50 getting, meters of contact. This advanced buddy team out here of um, liberal okay. pundit. Oh, and the other guy just died. Oh, man. Uh, nice bugs. Copy three. Do you have a grid for the B14, folks? On 
north side of the field somewhere. Didn't see it on the tracer. And now Liberal Pundit by himself. He's going to fall back, but... Yeah, this British squad over here... here. Vindication, along with Bybee, is uh, trying to put some suppression on this side element over here. I think... There's, uh, there's at least a fire being pushed out on the east side of the road here. Copy. Hope you get to that. Oh, Take a look at some positions again. Alright, three, make your way to command. We're gonna push out far west. Russians have pushed a squad back here in the in the west. Squad four for for Russia, the red team here. They're moving back along the forest around this field to try to regroup. I think they're anticipating a bigger attack. So, so far we know that they have some... But well, that ain't happening. Of, uh, There's a squad along with squad command here, down here in the three, south. Near the F9, seven, group six grid. Matter of fact, they're even two in the further F7, away than that. Grid. They're moving down oh, here along this creek. Ball. They're going to try to, I think, they're going to try to move around. And at least a squad on point, so... And the British, there's two British squads attacking three Russian defending squads. It's not good. It's not a good, it's not going to be a good time for um, British as they try to move in here. Mr. GG getting to suppress from the hillside, moves back up. Wants to try to put some shots on target. Almost gets hit. Looks like he's trying to shoot nuclear twister up there. 300? Rounds are on target. Reloading. They're just not hitting anyone. Plenty of cover for the Russians. Another casualty. And Spence caught out in the open. Gets cut down. I believe that was Mr. Money Man and Dr. K9. Money man, I think he just scored himself another one. It's a brutal. Look at that. Look at that lane. No one is moving through that. The position is perfect. The only thing that he can't see in concealment right here at the bottom is a hillside. Airborne muffs Mr. GG. They're cut off from the rest of their attacking force. So at this point, the British are just going to get picked off at range. Got a new nightmare here with an RPK. Getting suppressed. Forced to move out of his position. Meanwhile, we have Sethers and Guz doing the same thing. I think Sugar just died. Maybe not just died, but he's he's definitely dead. I think they're shooting at uh, Mr. GG, Airborne, and Mr. Yeah, Muffs over here. Mr. GG barely visible from this angle. But I think... Ooh, and he's putting out both this way. Just a little high, right over everyone's head. Sethers falls back. Pretty pretty good marksmanship there. That's a good shot. Ooh. Sethers with the instant reply. Looks like that was um, Mr. GG getting hit there, but bandaging and back to normal. Meanwhile, British forces, their assault is stalled because they don't even have, there's, there's no way they have enough people to even support an attack. They're holding position, waiting for a flanking element to try to get in position here in the southwest. No, it's not. 
We just left. There's really nothing they can do. And they are, Contacts. however, they are committed to, um... Don't eat him. Or else he will die. They are committed to try to retrieving this intelligence. I couldn't agree more the with listening you. post. Is, is not good. Are they in need range? Yo, guys, get eyes up west. No, 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 Just don't no, peek. Yeah, that. that was a friend. That was Watch a friend. It's a friendly frag. I drop it. Fall back okay. a little bit. They're gonna drop you on you because we're in the tree line. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's zero, go. Zero, zero. Watching back. Go around the cell. Forces in the uh, north here falling watch back. Watch out, don't go much north side. A little confusion okay. there. But... Alright, everyone hold it. Okay, just give us, give us a new order. New order is to fall back for a and wait for reinforcements or extraction later tonight. Everyone disengage from what you're being engaged from. Pull back to the fob. British, so British getting force update that they are now okay, retreating okay, from their position. There. Looks like another casualty for British here. Three years, let's get to the oh, maybe not. So all British forces are now retreating and disengaging. Force pulling back. Wow. Literally fire teams from the three attack axes. That they decided to go for here. A pretty, a pretty strong victory here for Russia, as the British are moving out. It's still causing problems for British. This, uh, this retreat here. Mister GG just got hit again. Have you said we're moving back to the fog? Uh, yep. Yeah, moving back to the original fog. Might have to pull east across the river. Just do what you can. Copy. Matter of fact, he got hit again, and he lost the rest of his fuck. He lost the rest of his fire team. It's just him. Wow. So, Mister GG believes he's stuck. He's gonna fall back to this building. He's a little disconnected, although he does have. He's a fire team lead, so he should have command comms. Alright, when you get back to the FOB2, I want you to take up the eastern hills, east and northeast, that's where your uh, characteristic are. Copy. And the British are going to move back, they're going to move, move back to across the river. Scratch that, I want you on the west side, so we are getting um, engaged from the northwest there. They're going to move back across the river to this HAP location. Uh, Limited... Four effective, by the way, so. Copy. Limited, um... With the positions we made on the southwest, we should be able to hold them. Uh, quite easily, we don't lose three men. Fortifications Copy. here. You're gonna be on the east side and um, south with me. Cuba's gonna be on Copy. the uh, west and north. So now the British just falling back across the river. Does anybody have um, any. Oh, I see a. Uh, I see uh, some. Maybe an indication that the Russians are gonna move out here, potentially. Maybe they're getting intelligence that the British are. Line your mic's open. Retreating. Right now, the Briti or the Russians holding position. So, a recap of what we saw. We saw British forces moving across the, uh, the Gerdok River here. And, and with a, for a small incursion into Russian-held territory, Russians simply jaunting into what they believe is safe territory. End up stumbling across a British recon squad. That squad gets wiped out. The British attempt to rescue the uh, the surviving information the squad was attempting to gather. They get decimated again and again over the course of about twenty minutes. And now their uh, platoon or their division commander has ordered them to retreat and withdraw from Gordok. So British forces now in, now in uh, retreat from the area. Everyone seems to be in retreat from the area. Matter of fact, we have a squad that's already across the river. So there's a safe squad already. And 
command along with a fire team and a lone machine gunner is falling back to the river. It looks like he's going to cross here at the... Uh... What is that? You guys are going to beat us there before I mean, we get there, so... Oh, okay. What is... Yeah, copy too. They're shooting rockets at a range. Maybe they're just... Maybe they think to themselves they're just lighting fire. Ooh. Maybe just go ahead and get across while we can. There's a lodgy. There's a mortar. So the Russians have mortar uh, access now. Matter of fact, well, the Russians, maybe they're loading up. There's actually a squad moving out to the west. I think they're going to loop around the forest to try to catch... Maybe they got wind of the squad that was coming around, so maybe they're looping around to catch that squad. But there's a Russian fob here, and there's a mortar. The BTR... Still in pretty good shape. Runs into a log. Nice driving. Oh no. Uh, keep going. You can do it. Whew. All right. Uh, didn't get the BTR stuck. Great success. Ooh, looks at. They're gonna run with the uh, the flanking squad here. They're gonna go all the way around. I wonder what the Russian mission is now. British are all reconsolidated back on their side of the river. They're holding their forward base, or they're going to be soon, with about a squad-sized element, maybe a squad-plus-sized element remaining here for the British forces. Meanwhile, the Russians, they got a lot. Look at this, 22 casualties for British, 8 casualties for Russia. Is bad news, man. Basically all Russia has to decide to do is attack a fixed point in anything, any situ- and like any okay, okay, tactic just, uh, the Russia commander Revy wants to use will Our succeed. Drones, uh, tell us that. Russians have a convoy on our way to our FOB, one times armor okay, asset and multiple trans vehicles. Two, expedite your, uh, your approach to the FOB if you can. Three, let's go ahead and spread out. We have a lot to cover with four guys here. I'm, I'm expediting. I think I... Oh, okay. So the Russians are going to attack and try to establish a FOB in this position. Hello. So you want us to stay on the west Hello, my whole entire team. squad got wiped out, so I'm here now. No three, we need to spread out and cover all vectors just the father. Mr. GG makes it back. Is there a medic? Send a guy north and the Is there a medic for this man? Convoy of Russians on the way. We're gonna be crossing the bridge uh, most likely out to our three thirty. He was an AR need to uh, do some, uh, There's one medic remaining. Leaf. This fortifications here to the north. And, uh, hmm. Take a look at the Russian status here. The Russian convoy has formed. They are reforming. They have completely abandoned that mortar, too. The mortar's gone. So the mortar's not going to be useful. Three, if possible, position that Looks like two squads on foot, on one, M one BTR moving sort of like really to northwest to southeast through this forest. And then they have a, uh, a Lodgy truck moving behind them. There's the BTR, that's what I was looking for. 
It's just cutting through the forest, just like everyone else. They're slowly getting closer to the, uh, to the river here. It looks like they're moving at about 50 meters a minute. And it looks like they have about 400, 500 meters to go for most elements if they proceed online. So the Russians are going to try to make this attack. Now, there is cold water um, crossing in effect. So that means infantry will have to use a bridge. Vehicles, on the other hand, I believe, the vehicles may not, um, may not be stuck to that limitation. They might. Yes, on. We'll have to see here. But I'm the medic. The round's approaching the uh, forty. The rocks up there. I start. Forty minute mark. That. If it's not already, I actually have to double check. Usually, I write down when we go live. Just so I can refer to that as a statistic, but I forgot. I changed my setup again. I don't have cool things. Like, notes sure set up right now. Him, I need to change my setup again, actually. I'm gonna rearrange my desk. Anyway, right. Um, British forces seem to be in a pretty static position. They're not going to have a flexible defense at all. They have zero fallback. Maybe a maybe a squad maneuvering to the uh, to the southeast here, or rather to the direct east of the point. Maybe they're going to have the most flexible. They're going to be the most flexible out of the whole bunch. But the squad, the 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 British to the south here have zero flexibility. Do you want um, our forces to stay within the far radius, or can we push out? Copy HQ. Two, you do not have to stay in the far radius if there's a better position for that lat buddy team outside. And there we go. Copy. Platoon, um... Oh, the right. BTR's opening up. Yeah, it was. Oh, my... <laughs> <laughs> you just got glitter almost. Yeah, sorry. I All think right, I brought that upon us. That's right. Thank you. Uh oh. The medic healed, tried to heal Mr. GG and ended infantry up skylining. We're going to try and get shots. 3 3 0. Infantry moving in Golf 9 1 2. 3 3 0. Roger. Copy infantry Golf 9 1 2. And British forces now calling infantry forces right, across the river. Is that a heavy vehicle? Keep up 360. Here's a, a view of what William FBD can see. He's got himself a little crescent here. And wow, he's playing playing it risky here. But he has eyes on potential... Oh, he probably has eyes on the BTR from here. Oh, that's not a BTR, but he hits Sethers right in the shoulder. Matter of fact, he's still shooting Nat Sethers, but I don't think the bullets are going to bend around the corner like that to hit him. Let's see. The Muffin Man? What's he shooting at? Wait, is he trying to hit CeeLo all the way out here? No, he's not trying to shoot. Woo! Maybe he was. CeeLo returning fire, getting pretty damn close. Rocket being shot a little short of the fortification, but you can gar you guarantee the Russians know this is a hard point for them to attack. Rocket? Another rocket coming in. Alright, where's 
It's destroying fortifications here. West. Somewhere west, beyond the trees. Uh, maybe just, you should spread out a little bit more. Copy. If that rocket raises one of you, you're both at that close to each other. Russians just looking. All they want to do is figure out where it is. Another rocket. Oh, oh. there goes Mr. GG. I'll be out of ammo soon. I see the RPG shooting. The, uh, oh, oh, I bet you the RPG is going to just shoot straight towards Londards next. Let's see if I can catch it here. Maybe another squad for British trying to suppress the rocket. Um, the rocket infantry position. Russians pushing down the hill using some se Susan some defilade. We got uh, Evan and Bespo. Another rocket comes in, but it's not towards infantry. Oh, looks like the British are um. Looks like the British are getting exfilled here. It's going to be a hot expel if I've ever seen one. More rockets coming in as it seems a Russian fire team has crossed the river to the south. And they're moving through the forest, but uh, did someone else just die? Oh no. No, that's... Oh, Londark is dead. So yeah. More casualties for British here. Leaf getting shot at on the on the line here. And the uh, helicopter helicopters for British getting closer, meaning the round is going to end probably very soon. William, just Binox out. More rockets being shot. But the Russians are close within. They're moving a fire team up from the south. The BTR now has a, a superior position. Another rocket fired at British point here from across the river. And William FBD has eyes on a fire team, our buddy team of Jack and uh, Viper just running across the river where it's shallowed up. How many did you see? Three? How many did you see cross? Three confirmed. So William only saw three of them, but that's a fire team of six. Plus, there's another fire team of five that's already made it up here. Another rocket even shot up here. The Russians are even getting ready to stage for our movement across the river here at Train Bridge. Grunt with Vader Centurion, Divi Skew in the Harve, covering. And looks like uh, the Muffin Man goes down along with William. So it's literally down to one person holding the point. And one of these rockets are just going to take a dip for the right way. You gotta, you gotta think. Oh. The Russians are now moving within 200 meters. They're moving from behind. Leaf gets hit by that rocket again. He's a medic, so he's got a bunch of bandages for himself, so he's going to stay alive, but... He's only defending himself right now. He's not even looking out to defend anything else. Rocket's now moving in again. And the rest of the British forces are just not on point. British forces. I mean, there's literally like three people, maybe four or five people alive right now. Command, where's the contact relative to you? I've seen nothing yet or heard anything. They're just blocking RPGs. The I just expect them to be on the west side of the fall. Yeah, okay. The command for British have no idea 
there's a Russian fire team maneuvering in his open. In the open, and they've run away. Oh my gosh, this is too perfect. I apologize if everything seems pretty compressed, but... I'm trying to do what I can to get up here and close. British, uh, Russian forces, looks like Dwarf in command here. They're gonna push in. They're gonna shoot Clay during the back. Oh! Who is that? Kuba takes down a Russian from behind and moves another one. Takes down a second Russian. Kuba maneuvering along the back side. I guess he was further away than I thought. And Koopa knows. Koopa had a direct eyes on that platoon or that squad moving in. He knows what he got. I wonder where the uh, British helicopters are, though. As it seems like British have lost all of their forces on the point. Let me double check here. Clay J, Lima Bean, and Moglis with Koopa. Yeah, so that's four British remain or no British on the point now. Russians moving across the river looks like completely unopposed. And the British that remain are simply maneuvering, trying to orient themselves. Ooh, look at this. Lima Bean has gotten behind a couple as it looks like he might be sneaking past this Russian force. Contact West as well in the Aberdeen. The British are just simply getting circled too hard here by the Russian forces. There's simply too many of them. Lima Bean takes out Dr. K-9. And continues maneuvering along the hill. Okay, we just took a trying to find sandbags. some more. Looks like Cuba got a second one. Cuba may have gotten... Uh, I missed who that was. Lima Bean, you can see Kuba along the opposite ridge line. I'm coming to you. Lima Bean maneuvering to Kuba. Kuba's got himself a little bit of an elevation here oh, along with some hard rocks. But Clay J goes. Or, why not? Hold on. I don't know how to use a C set. I think Clay J's just hit uh, <laughs> Jack. It's fucking I'm not shoot. gonna lie. I, I yoink Meanwhile, the Russians have are in the process of dismantling the British pop here. They've got a fire team plus moved in. So it's just these four British uh, troops left. Command, you wanna, you wanna Is there a Russian still alive here? Atomic yeah, Peach? Not. Looks I like. Two two eight. Eight. Two eight. I'm running next to you. Fuck. Ooh. Find the Kuba. Base. Yeah, I hit him once. Find the. Koopa hit, uh, looks like that's the Guz. Command doesn't want to let I'm looking at 295. What? Okay. What are British gonna do? There's not a lot of them left, and technically... Oh, wow, another kill for Kuba. Looks like a, another rifleman down. Carelessly advancing. And Peach is starting to move back here, too. He's trying to go as quietly as he can to try to sneak up on this position. Yeah. As Moglis... I think Moglis just got shot at. Oh, no, they're shooting at the ridge. They're trying to provide some distraction here. I'm gonna run back with these... Or, this is Peach. Oh, they're fucking close. Close, 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 close. Trading. Or trades lima bean. I got the guy close. Got I think so British down to three. Guys. Nope, yeah, down to two right. as Moglitz gets destroyed, shredded in the field. Yeah. So it's just Kuba and Clay J here. The sound of helicopters not coming to rescue them. Yeah, I lost two instantly. Rip. 
And the Russians are just holding out, holding out, looking for anything. Maybe they saw Kuba there? Just me and you now? Yep. Ooh! Shots coming from Frederick's cousin Swine. Nearly hitting, uh... Nearly hitting Kuba through the trees. Yeah, I'm calling back. back. Pretty good shot from Frederick here. So that's all he's that's you saw him through that. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good shot from Frederick there, and it looks like Clay J may have fallen back too. I don't know what Kuba was shooting at. Oh, maybe Kuba has hit, uh, Kuba just hit the Harv. Clay J is still up, but Kuba is gonna, has decided he wants to go around the other direction. So he's gonna flake around to the north side, and there's even Russians there too. Kuba making a uh, end around run here. I mean, let's be real. There's zero chance that British win here. The only chance the British win are that Russia decides to get a message that um, Russia, you know, Russian platoon command gets a message. Oh, that sounded not like anything else. British helos are now in there. Oh, look at this. Doobie scoo. Crests the hill with Binox out, easy target, but ends up trading the Harv, covering him. There goes Kuba. So now it is simply a lone officer. I think. Where did he go? Maybe that's GG. No, what is this? Yeah, that is GG. So British forces completely routed and destroyed in an attempt to gather information on the west side of Gordok. Uh, just a reminder, lol. V14. So, we will be right back with a little bit more from round two of Operation Silent Serpent. Okay, so now they're just getting their missions from their from their company command. The story goes that your lost unit reportedly destroyed the truck. They might have, if on the other chance you happen to find And if we get more destroyed, questions that just end up having, okay. All right, gents, well, here we go. We've been tasked with uh, extracting a stranded squad in Delta Six. Uh, last reports that we heard coming in from them was that they spotted a convoy and destroyed it. So we need to go in there and rescue them and hold out until dark, aka the end of the round. So the way that we're going to do is once we uh, go live, is we're going to proceed directly north from here, uh, moving towards the Delta-6 grid. Um, if, they, if we spot a convoy, uh, a bunch of Logi we are authorized to destroy them. Uh, keep in mind, we cannot drive any of these vehicles. They are all out of gas. However, they do still have supplies on them. I, and we can steal the supplies and build ourselves a defensive hab location in the Delta-6 grid where the stranded squad is, if we see fit. That will kind of depend on the situation once we get there. Uh, ask your squad leader if it's okay to destroy the truck. I'm going to say probably let's destroy them. I'm not too worried about setting up a defensive location, uh, but we'll kind of get to that once we get there. So, off the of live, we're going to have Squad 2, Phoenix's squad. They're going to be the most western element. They'll be proceeding north on this side of the road, uh, getting eyes on that convoy and supporting the rest of the platoon. Uh, squad 3, Evan's squad, he's going to be moving 
along the lines I'm placing now, uh, kind of in the middle of the platoon. Oddball squad is going to be beside him, uh, basically supporting going through the middle. We're all moving north. And then Dwarf squad is going to be the far eastern element providing uh, eastern security. Yeah, somewhere along those four marks. So once we get there, Burge, uh, we're going to eliminate the convoy, rescue our guys, and hold out until nightfall. Is there any questions? Communicate with your FTLs, listen to your squad leaders. Let's get set for life. They are in... Oh, we're live. <clears throat> Let's go. So British moving out. Russians going to do the same. So look at the look at the Russians here. They're here. They've spread themselves out all over the grid. That is that is brilliant and a half. SLs keep in mind. We got Tedish and oh hey Tedish. And so you need a hot minute, my dude. Got a cyclone here. Keeping a general south to maybe south southeast. Got, uh, looks like Tapa Tetra. Tap Tap Tra. Oh, uh, they, uh, the umlauts throw me there. I think that's what it's called. The two dots are the umlaut, right? I forget. Kuba here is looking to his north. Got Psych. Uh, well, actually, is that it? Just the four drivers? Well, there was more. Okay, so that's it. Everyone else is apparently doing something. Sad. Let's take a look at the uh, British engineer rescued, or unit to rescue. What are they doing? They are hiding in a field. Oh my God. So maybe they have strong enough memers to actually pull this off, but, ooh, you might actually, maybe they have strong enough memers to pull this off, but right now it looks like they're all going to be hiding in the field, simply prone, not doing anything. Wow. Wow, that's that's all I have to say. <laughs> I want to talk right now, but I can't. Oh my god. This is this is whew, This is next level thinking right here. Use the field to hide yourself, but not move through it. Just simply exist in it. That is We thought six la six uh, rocket users were going to be a troll. This is this is a bigger troll than that. Do we have comms with a uh, storm or negative. negative? We do not have comms. British units moving in. Made a, it looks like they made about two hundred meters of progress on average across the field. They're on the north side of the river now, and they're pushing up. About a click away from contact the Russian uh, drivers. Cyclone and Tedish could be the ones to see these guys first. And actually, let's take a look at the Russians. Guys, Russians are moving a lot me. faster. Oh man, two squads are headed straight towards... Are headed straight towards the engineers right now. Oh man, we're gonna have to watch and see how this unfolds. But two squads in a file are pushing straight towards the engineering squads. They're pushing straight, looks like as the crow flies, they're pushing straight to the convoy. Two squads online. Oh, here we go. There's a little deviation in the path here. Sugar leading a squad around the hill. They're not going to go through the field. Huh. 
150 meters away. It's bold. Just a reminder that uh, leadership for teams have flipped as everyone has switched sides, so everyone who was on Russia last round is now playing on British, which means our British commander's clay, uh, sorry, our British commander's ready. He's got Dwarf, Oddball, Evan SMA, and Phoenix. And the Russian command is Clay J with Shukhart, Sebiv, FB, or well, William FBD, and Vindication. So it looks like the two Russian squads just going to run around. Are these guys looking in this direction? Wait. Best pony is not looking in this direction, but I think Jack and part-time ninja actually heard hey, these guys move from here. We end up setting up a radio. We can't move the lodges, so the lodges have to be within drop range of whatever. Maybe they could see from here. Like, what are the odds? There are there are zero odds. As a matter of fact. No, I saw one of them. No, Jack. Oh, actually, Jack may have actually the only way he could. Jack may actually not be lying here. From here... I was off an high ground, and I moved down now, but I could definitely see one of them to the turtle. Can you hear me? He might have actually... Yeah, I bet you... No, from here, even I could see Redibus running across that hillside, so... I could see the goon, I could see Redibus. So, these guys actually are getting information. We're just tunkering down for a second, getting high. Oh, yeah, could... I saw another one. Yep, and I guarantee you... Andy. Oh no, British ND. What a thing. What a what a horrible thing for them to do. Proceed however you see fit. If you want to stick more to the west or to the east. British ND. So I guarantee you the uh the Russians that are defending the the Russian rescued the Russian lost squad. We'll just call them the lost squad. They're gonna be looking directly in this direction for contact. Which it came from squad one, apparently. So maybe squad two is going to get under the wire here. It's all good. Squad two has got a fire team ahead of itself. They moved across the field, looks like, in fire teams. You got Bartok. Over here. Let's see who's actually leading this. Guz is leading Guz this element, SFTL. The other side of the tracks. They've actually pushed north of Tedish and Cyclone. The Russian uh, Lost Squad. And you can see Cyclone here. I wonder if he's got eyes. He may have actually spotted these guys running in the field. Yeah, I think he spotted... I think he spotted the element moving to his west. So far, no one else is looking this direction except for Cyclones, so you gotta imagine he's passing that up the chain of command. But an entire squad has now moved into the kill zone for two Russian squads moving through the Western Forest. This is bad news. Russian Russians have halted their advance. There's not a lot of cover for... Uh... And they're getting online. The Russians are getting online right now. The two squads are getting online. Oh, it's bad. This bad. This squad is actually in tremendous danger right now. It's getting better. We've been rolling through some, going through some rolling hills, trees, and stuff. Squad two has a cover out there. I wonder if the Russians actually actually seen these guys. Guys is in the open. Guarantee you the Russians have definitely stopped. This fire team has eyes on the British. Can they kill the Russian lost squad? You bet they can. You bet they will. If they run over top of them, they're going to fight. The Russians are going to defend themselves if they end up getting run over top of. Yeah, understood. We're moving right now. We'll orient too far. Matter of fact, it looks like one's already dead. <gasps> Wait! Am I imagining things? Tedish is still alive. An entire squad has walked past him. Tedish is in the bushes. That's amazing. Welcome back, Tedish. Oh, Revy. Okay, I assume they're Command following the map order. 
Revy ain't gonna notice this. So, British have walked over. The Russian forces. Wow. The Russian forces are now within local range of this element. So you better, you better bet that Taptra is going to start replying here in a second. They've got to be within local range. So we're about 100 meters. A fire team is about ready to run over. Taptra hits Silas, but Silas is able to send enough bullets back. So one yeah. Russian yeah. lost squad member is down. One Russian lost squad member is down. Meanwhile, British command is actually like right next to Tedish. Let me see if we can find this. Yeah, Revy's like within 20 meters of Tedish right now. Maybe, maybe more than that. Uh, 20, 15 meters. So if Tedish, Tedish might actually get spotted. If Revy runs over this hill, Tedish, he's going to see Tedish looking the other way. But Revy's running straight to get to the rear of where his contact, or where his squad's in contact right now. Unfortunate. Tedish and Cyclone live along with Kuba. A majority are still in are still in contact here. The British gonna have to British are moving an element around. You can see here, they're moving a squad around to the east to try to circle around and get in contact with these guys in the field, which means they're moving around a squad of Russian soldiers. Oh, these guys are running away. So the British forces looks like they got pretty pretty well uh, destroyed over here. They're running straight into Cyclone. Swine, Phoenix, and Guz are falling back. Cyclone's not seeing this. Oh, looks like Phoenix and Swine are running around. Oh, Phoenix might see him. Phoenix might see Cyclone here. And they all go prone. They're actually turning around to look behind them. So everyone disengage. You're on the west side. Disengage and pull east. British forces ordered to disengage on the west. Reloading. Swine. Energy squared in that tree line. We've taken a couple of Phoenix. Oh, man. Cyclone. Now here's Phoenix engaging really close. Swine just runs past him. Swine move. Moving. Swine's moving. Oh, Phoenix pinned by the MG. Maybe Cyclone's gonna take some shots at Swine. I think he just lost him. What happened to the other guy? Ah, uh, he just got hit. Koopa's still alive. Tedish is still alive. Oh. Cyclone hits Swine, but Swine gets to cover. Tedish is not going to be able to help. But it looks like Swine and uh, Phoenix are running away too. Cool. So the Russians are three members surviving in their lost squad. Meanwhile, British making contact. Up here in the north, they gotta get to within 100 meters. They gotta get within local range, and yeah, the British forces are crawling out. And there may be. Hey guys, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Uh, yes, let's go. Let's go. This contact to us. Southeast. British now orienting southeast here. They've closed the door on Russian repositioning for these two squads over here in the east. See enemies. But Russians are throwing two squads at the west. Modern Death eats a grenade. Grenade range? 
That's your chest of Bybee. Those are... Russians trying to push through here. Multiple smokes. Moglis. Kill Silas. We're a little bit of ways out, but our line of approach might be better. To be advised, you had contacts north of you. There's contact between us two. Moglis getting closer to, uh... Alright, fully disregard last, then. Kuba's running, so Russians have made contact with their lost squad. And here we go. Command they're gonna throw down a radio. I think they're gonna... I think they're gonna attempt to, uh, rescue the assets. You have contacts to your north as well? Yeah, or they're going to hold out in that position. Okay. Whereas, whereas I think the British mission is to exfiltrate. I think the Russians are going to hold out in position. So SLs, get your guys orient. Uh, the perimeter. Or actually, no, that's not to exfiltrate. British gonna, are going to hold the uh, the convoy strike location. I think. The Russians are going to hold in position. British forces. Reconsolidating in the east. I think there's only two squads left up there. Yeah, man. So there's two squads in the north, one squad's maneuvering around the east side. And there's a couple of stragglers. But I think the Russians have the upper hand right now, even though it's still pretty close. Yeah, British 13 casualties to Russians 9. Now Russia reaching out to all of their lost people. Command, do you want me to set up a pop? Yes. Here we go. British forces. Uh... We got audible oh, the Russians. The Russians are recovering the remaining assets. The Russians have recovered four lodges. Oh, they're shooting at airborne. Spence is sort of stuck out here. So Russians have recovered four lodges worth of supplies. That's bad. So this is the second round. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so the lodges... Wait a second, they're going back. I think there's been a misinterpretation or something. Oh, that's where the that's where their point is gonna be. So the Russians are gonna defend the convoy position. Command, this is I two, think two is, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Two is too strong, where do you want us? Uh, just rejoin us as quick as possible. Understood. HQ, this is platoon command. Uh, those lodges got away, please advise. Still two lodges available. Yeah, you the two lodges available. Just destroy the lodges that escaped if you can. Rockets now firing on the uh, position. We can't drive the lodges, so we can't set up a fob. A little ambush here. Storm gets hit. Yeah, yeah. Sugar able to shoot out on Storm. Yeah. And here we go. So Shogart's just starting to, uh... All the supplies have been dumped from these lodges, supposedly, so... Squad lead's gonna squad lead and gonna build himself a little fob. Although he doesn't have anyone to help build right now. So the Russians are gonna hold this position, then? Who's that shooting? Knee holes with, uh, looks like J2 guns on the AR. Ooh. Is that a hit? 
missed. So that was like a 250 meter latch shot on a stationary target and he missed. That sucked. There's a hit. So that's gonna pop. Ooh, Sugar standing right next to it. I wonder if that's gonna hurt him. More rockets. There goes one of the lodges popped. Let's see Hawk here. Another lodge. Direct hit and destruction on another one. Here we go, Pony runs inside. He's gonna try to go upstairs. Building's clear. Can Pony see anyone through here? I wouldn't think so, but if any of the Russians started looking up here, he would definitely be able to see. Now this window... I wonder if Pony's gonna think about this window. Nope, he's gonna go back outside. He's gonna go around the corner. And these guys are completely in build mode, so he's gonna get one kill for free. Yep, yeah, he gets Shookheart, and he gets We Are Airborne. And UK have secured the position, although a rather Scottish champ is right against this corrugated metal fence. And appears to be getting shot in the back as Jack Wade Hunter. I killed one. Get over the fence. Over the fence. Let's kill one. All right, let's get C4 on this radio and get back to the other side of the house. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to blow up the radio and retreat. A lot of lost right, logic points. Yeah, okay. Fall back northwest. C4 planted. Oh, I need medical attention. <laughs> Mike 1112. Demolition charge. Oh, there are friendlies in the area? What is T doing here? <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, explosions. There goes the Russian radio. Russian squad getting engaged here. They're kind of stuck. Two squads worth of infantry. Beginning to attack the position. More logistics trucks go down. And that lodge's going for the lodge. No, we can destroyed. grab C4 off it. We can grab C4 off it and blow it up. Keep me covered. Pony is going to rearm off the lodge and then grab. Uh... No, there's no ammo. Fuck. Nope. Maybe not. No ammo. No ammo. We got guys in south. Guys south. What's Jack Eight Hundred going to do here? He's going to use the lodge as a. Uh... He's going to use the Lodgy as a uh, defense point. Throwing a mags, dumping a mag into the uh, engine block of the Lodgy trucks here. actually does damage, so now that thing's gonna pop. So that's all the Lodgies confirmed destroyed. Hunter, the engineers, after hiding in the field all anybody, around, anybody, now falling back. The British are holding this field. Mm -hmm. So the British are now lopsided. Russian forces spread out here in the south. Three squads trying to pivot around and attack north. There's actually a Russian squad. Maybe this is... 
They have actually been spotted by the American forces. Looks like a couple spotters. This commander and another squad lead. Yeah, they're definitely to our south. Minimal Russian forces flanking around, so the... Shit. What the oh, no. Jack goes down. I think he got shot through a window? Yeah. He, he got shot. He was in the window. He was in the window up top. Uh... And Pony, the sign check. Headshot. And fine. Who was that? Tommy, you did not be the it was someone in front of me. You're I think nice. it may have been Modulus. Although it well, sounded I'm like it came out of. So that's two more people down. Re peeking the same window. I mean, you know. Ow, ow. Uh, it's basically a headshot box. <laughs> Hey, Peach makes it back to friendly lines and survives as Russians move in to retake the, uh, the, uh, the location. Russian forces moving in. Now within frag range. They're coming up and over the hill. Russians doing a pretty good job of continuing their momentum here. And the British are just having to pull back. Take a look at the casualties right now. 23 casualties for British, 18 casualties for Russia. It's usually, uh, it's just a fire team's really uh, worth the difference. Fire team's worth the difference. Like that made sense to me. About a fire team's difference here in alive counts. Rather, a fire team's difference in casualties, that's what I meant to say. Grenades. In Russian, Russians are in range for grenades now, and they're trying to surge forces forward. William F. B. D. leading from the front. Watch this shit. Let's go. Yeah, that's a direct hit. Hey, hey! If my squad leader died and I automatically got the roll, should I give it up? I'm not. I wasn't a fair team lead. I give it up, right? Ow! Correct. They're, they're I, fucking I close. They're fucking close. Oh, a peach gets shot, hit in the leg. And part time ninja just goes straight back to repeat that corner. Oh, fuck. Yeah, in the middle. Close. Yeah, they're right fucking there. Pickle snags, right, one FBD, and there's a squad of dead for Russia. I think Pickle just killed another one. I'm bleeding. Good frag. Ooh. Pretty fucking hairy down here. That's gotta hurt. Right here in this building, on this building. Seer chest runs against the window. Nope. You don't do that to Pickle. Pickle says, you dead. Pickle on a rampage right now. I actually got a kill, that's group dead. Pickle got hit though in that exchange. Russians advancing. Not stopping. Uh, the British positions shot. are just letting the Russians move in. Copy. And that was Muffin Man coming around the corner, just destroying Ronan. Let's see if Muffin Man does it again. Dwarf's peeking the corner here. Nope. Matter of fact, Pickle gets destroyed, shot in the back by Bybee. And Dorf is all alone. <laughs> Russians not peeking around the corner by the uh, opposite wall here. I wonder if he's gonna even think about trying to take this. He might be looking further down range. Dorf taking a peek here. He switches to a sidearm. He's getting shot at from his opposite angle. Okay, that wasn't a sidearm, but still, now there's a sidearm. There we go. Dwarf pistol whips by B. He is hit though. Oh, I don't think he has bandage. So he's trying to get his 
He's trying to get as much information as he can. So pistol out. What can Dorf do here at the last second? Dorf is leapfrogging cover to cover. He's about 10 seconds left before he bleeds out. No! Oh. No! K9 hit. Contact east, east, east. Trying to oh, save Dorf. I'm Dorf bleeding. bleeds out. K9's bleeding. Oh no, they're gonna lose. They might lose a rifleman here as a result. Revy got K9. Yeah, we're just holding guys. Defend the radio as best And as can. British doing their best to try to save people, but looks like they're still getting outgunned by Russians in this scenario. 29, oh, actually we're tied. 29 casualties for both teams. Revy, we got contacts to our southwest. Uh, don't know if they're pushing yeah, up anyone. Take a look at the overall up. position. Kind of hard to tell. There's really three strong points. Contact There's the radio south. itself. K9, close. And K9 calling contacts out. He's close. That is hell call, although he is getting shot at. From across the field. Actually, Hellcall got hit there. He's uh, hit by a grenade. Maybe K9 threw that grenade? He stabilizes. K9 throwing another one? Oh, this one might get him. Rip. Hellcall eats a frag. Meanwhile, Russians continuously pushing in. They're pushing one's hill again. Roger one. I feel like you're moving around too much. Up. It's because they were within nading distance. As Nihols is stuck here, Russians are pushing past him. He's got himself some decent cover, though. Doobie Scoo. Uh, is really stuck out here in the open. The only way he can now retreat is in a bad direction. But he just kills, don't get shot. Runs out of ammo. I think Doobie just got... Maybe he didn't get just got tagged. Straight south along the road as well. Straight south along the road. So Doobie is just looking for targets. I think, uh... I think Razor just got tagged there. By Niels. And Niels back to keeping tabs on his hill. He's got himself plenty of cover against the Russians that are trying to move out here to this uh, east. Doobie almost getting shot. I think he might be getting shot from all the way up there. Leaf and beware. I oh, fucking. Is that mortars? What was that? I heard something. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I thought I heard mortars. Doobie just holding his position. Just an update for you, Revy. Currently, no eyes to the south. Uh, no, uh, nothing seen to the southwest, but I only have eyes up to the buildings. Understood. Thank you. K9 reported in. He sees nothing. Standard report. Now, boys. Thirty-two Russians down. Twenty-nine British down. So maybe a little bit of an outnumbering you now going on for I'm hiding underneath Russian or for, for British forces. Oh yeah, look at that. Smoke grenades. I'm hiding. Are those smoke mortars? Uh, it's gotta be smoke grenades. I believe in you, Doobie. You gave away Kuba's position last round, so you can do it again. Oh, shade being thrown here. Oh, Russians move in the open. Will Doobie see this? He just turned his head. I think he doesn't see it. Let's see. We'll head bust a C Doobie Scoo. I think he has. He might have seen his head. 
You'll see him shortly. Headbuster. No, he's keeping the moving on. He's even deployed. I wonder who he's going to try to shoot here. If he starts shooting and it's not a doobie screw, he's going to get shot immediately. Revy, apparently zero, seven, eight, Razor oh, within five right meters. Uh, east of you. Uh oh, he made noise. Motherfucker, and... motherfucker, reload. <laughs> reload, motherfucker. Wow. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Well, true, but that's what I you mean, get for reloading directly after contact. Wow. Do be on five bullets remaining, and or five cartridges remaining in this magazine. That's nuts. Although the British now definitely outnumbering Russian forces that are remaining. Oh yeah, my dude. Looks like we got four Russians remaining on point. And I wonder if these guys, these guys aren't moving. Are these guys moving? I can't tell. Uh, we might have entered a little stalemate situation here. Still no update on the southwest. Still don't have any eyes on anything. Let's see who's remaining. We got a lawn darts. Along with uh, their team com platoon command for Russia, Clay J. Beware and s and Leaf. The, seems to be the last Russians remaining now. Some people around about B seven six nine area. They could have pushed north. And now K nine speculating over command net. Yeah, I'm assuming some of them pushed north to be there. Probably gonna come in right on top. That's why. This is Scorpo. No, this is uh, Gordok. But yeah, possibly more. Some could be crawling through the field as well. I would imagine Scorpo definitely gonna get used for an operation soon, but not right yet. We still gotta, we still gotta take a look at it and uh, develop some missions for it. Can't just go from zero to missions. Oh, I wonder if uh, Londart sees... Did Londart see something? Or is he just going to advance now? Russians moving up? Nope. Londart says... Contact on me, single Russian SL south of me. Oh, K9 sees him! Wow! Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Just killed the contact, I think. They were crawling through the field southwest of the building. Understood. I can no longer see his buddy, so I don't know if he's given up or he has moved off west. Uh, things have just disappeared. He's died, I think. So, what are the Russians going to do now? Command has moved online with the rest of his troops, and everyone has Binox out. At least I thought so. I'm just seeing things. No, Command's still back there. Hey, he has a rifle out now. Who does he think he's shooting at? So that's it. Uh, Russia, or British forces now in a potential Overwatch situation. We got Niels. Got himself a uh, elevated position. He's still assuming contacts coming from his south. He hadn't even tried scanning maybe the southwest forest, and now he is. But presumably, he's only really going to be able to get eyes on uh, K9 from here. Oh, here now. Now he's taking a little bit more of an aggressive peek, and he might have actually, he might actually see uh, Revy back there. Although Revy's hiding behind the wall still and there's zero movement from Russian forces here so Russia had some momentum going into this assault good job staying patient guy not really uh happening this time around yeah I've got one of my guys keep saying keep Russia's going, aggressiveness keep wasn't uh <laughs> I'm sweating like a... 
admittedly, my I think is just not stopping shaking, the British holding a point like off of this area was a problem. I think the Russians are just assuming they're just holding this position. So now we're just now we're just seeing a little. I was gonna say look uh, yeah. west, well that's where he was looking. Okay, I'll tell him to. Uh, oh, Revy moved up. Because there could have been one contact just east of the buildings. And everyone's got rifles out now. Maybe the Russians are looking to move out. One call up. Maybe the Russians are looking to move about five, ten minutes up here and throw the rest of their force into the British line, and that's exactly where Revy's going with it. And everyone's moving out. So here we go. K9. Um, actually. Nihols probably might actually have eyes on this before K9 will. If Nihols is looking. And it's certainly possible. Nihols is in a prime position. Uh, yep. More. There are contacts on the east side of the village. And Nihols now moving commands Drop. up the uh moving information up the chain of command. Nihols definitely had eyes on Rip. Good shoot. And now it's just up to. Let's see what we have here. We have Beware and Leaf. Admittedly, I feel bad for leaving it so late, but I was preoccupied with my own shit. <laughs> Understandably. So Niels grabs himself a kill. If I weren't out of nades and hadn't dropped my armor bag a bit back, I would feel like I would have pushed up and thrown a nade. And now it's just. Gonna, Performance gonna, anxiety uh, from nice Beware and uh, Leaf. You got a pistol. No, I think I think they're trying to look for the guy that shot from the hill. I think they're trying to look for uh, knee holes, which they ain't gonna see him from here. Knee holes has actually scooted himself back a little bit on this ridge line. There's no way they're gonna have eyes on knee holes. Yeah, we're using V14 for today because V14 was released publicly. So we're on V14 now, guys. Uh, it's just that we don't have an operation set up for Scorpo yet. When you see, uh, you'll see it on the calendar when we start using Scorpo in operations, but uh, just be patient. It came out, it officially came out yesterday. <laughs> All right. I guess it officially came out on Thursday, but still. So these guys, just trying to look for that contact that was up on the, uh, the Eastern Hill. There's no way they're going to be able to see it unless Nihols just moves himself out in the open. I think the British forces are moving nowhere. These guys are just going to sit here until they decide that it's actually time to go. You can't really blame them. Obviously, you want to take you want to take yourself. You want to take the act, course of action that's got the best chance for success. And since you know you're only two people, well, those contacts on the eastern side of the village moved. You, you just have to. Uh, um, I'll check sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and go for it. When you have zero external communication and you don't know what's going on, you just got to do it. And these guys will realize that eventually. They're just looking to try to see what they can try to find themselves a way to get over there. Uh, we don't see any movement apart from what that squad out, uh, squad is still doing. Five, I see you moving up. Which force is moving? moving? No, I was just... That's oh, friendly, wait. that's friendly. Oh, is that four, sorry. Oh, British are just uh, reconsolidating yeah, yeah, a little bit of their right. position to their north here. Uh... Alright, so that's some cover fire as Leaf runs away. Only audio possibly round about D745, maybe west towards that northeast building. So beware, being the sacrifice that Leaf can live another day and flank around to the south here. 
Beware doing a decent job of covering that position, even though uh, Niholz was in zero uh, danger that entire time. Beware, a little off. British force is not responding to it as we see, um... Oh! Womp womp. That's it. Leaf goes down as knee holes can look in different directions. And now it's just down to be aware. Let's see what be aware wants to do. He's gonna run away. No, he's gonna run over here to the... I've just been updated to push on me. South of me just saw one head. And there we go. K9 has eyes on. So what is this guy going to do? Oh, he's running away. Huh? Could you ask money, man? What is... What? Currently out. Where is he going? Is he going to go all the way around? He does be accessible, so I don't know where it is. Okay. Is he going to go all the way around to the south and find Defilade all the way around and attack from the east? He's going to cross the road here. He might get spotted. This is a bit far for an engagement. Looking at about 250 meters plus elevation makes it probably more like 280. He's running across the road. Neil's not engaging, if it, even if he did see. We're going to move over and, and watch from Neil's position. Nihols wasn't even looking. Okay, that makes more sense then. Command, I'm gonna proceed with what I just said previously. Gonna move south just a little bit. Canine now actually going to move out of his position. Yeah, I know. All right. I am being stupid. But I'm gonna say. No one else is online with uh with Nihols right here, so he's gonna probably have the first chance to see. Maybe actually, I wonder if K9 would get spotted. So let's see here. We're going to watch Neholes and we're going to watch Beware. Neholes taking a look out to his south, almost pinpoints. Oh. One's got more contact south. Moving. He east. saw him. Neholes, you, you steel eyed missile man. Sorry, last... One has contact to us south. You can see Moving Beware has switched to. He got hit. We're engaging. He's still crawling around. And you can see Beware now bandaging. Beware. If he gets shot in the leg, that's it for him. And he's crawled back into the position where he was shot from. And now he's crawling in the open. Yeah, yeah. Nihol switching to his rifle. He's going to stand up and just squeeze a couple. There we go. That ends the round. So that's GG, I think. There we go. It called. GG. British forces able to get out here and rescue their force that was that had uh, ambushed a convoy and able to stop Russian forces from reattacking the position. A great hold, even though it got down to the nitty gritty there. Twenty nine casualties for British at the end. Really close.